before I start the video, this is my 100th upload on my YouTube channel. I thank everybody who has watched all my other 99 videos and been with me all along throughout this journey. Today's video is about class M2 locomotive in Sri Lanka. I have done a video about these locomotives before but on, I have only explained about the subclasses. Today we will be discussing about the technical details and other facts about this engine. Let's start. Manufactured country Canada Manufactured company General Motors Canadian company Year of import 1954 class M2 1956 class M2A 1958 M2B 1961 M2C and 1966 M2D Type diesel electric, powered engine GM V12 12 567C two stroke, power output 1425 horsepower, 1310 horsepower for class M2D, maximum speed 112 km per hour, axle arrangement A1A A1A and Bobo for class M2C weight 79 tons color red and brown with a yellow line original blue and silver with a yellow line current library number imported 14 numbers from 569 to 629 the axle arrangement in M2 M2A M2B and M2D is A1A, A1A and class M2C has the Bobo axle arrangement and it also includes a sandbox feature. General Motors Canada manufactured these engines for Sri Lanka in 1954 and it was imported under the Colombo Plan Aid and they were under the G12 class. The first engine that touched down in Colombo Harbour was class M2 571 Saskatchewan it is too special as it was destroyed first. Class M2 572 British Columbia was first used as the Ruhunukumari Express on October 24, 1955. It is too said that the same engine hauled the maiden run of the Udra Tamaniki in 1956. Class M2 can be used on every railway line apart from the Marthale and Kalani Valley railway lines. Class M2C was specially imported to be used on the upcountry line and it was used on the upcountry line for more than 55 years. Unfortunately, these engines have been removed from the upcountry due to many reasons. Watch my video about this. The link is on the upper right hand corner of the screen. Watch the part 1 of this video to know about the subclasses and the engines that come under them. Here are some important facts about Class M2. Class M2 570 Alberta was stranded in Kankasanthurai for 4 years from 1992 to 1996 due to the civil war. This same engine was caught to a bomb in Poonani in 2007 and it was restored and put back into service. Yet again, the same engine met with an accident with an S11 diesel multiple unit in Potuhara in 2014. It was restored and still operates up to this day. Class M2 571 Saskatchewan was called to a LTTE attack in 1985 and was destroyed. It still remains as the only M2 engine that was removed from service. Class M2A 591 Manitoba got caught to the tsunami waves back on 26 December 2004. This engine was restored with the greatest difficulty by the SLR workers and was put back into service. The Class M2 engines have provided an immeasurable service to Sri Lankan railways for 68 years. It is the oldest and the most successful engine in Sri Lanka up to date. Even though it has passed its predicted service age, it still hauls many trains around the island today. 
it is only a disappointment that class M2C is running as Udaya Devi and other flatland trains instead of hauling up country trains. Long live the M2 fleet. That's all the information I have about class M2 di- diesel electric locomotive in Sri Lankan railways. If you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe to the epic train channel for more videos like this I will meet you next time thanks for watching